When mathematics reveals the limits of reason, in the 20th century, mathematics was supposed to become perfect. Thinkers believed that with enough axioms, symbols and logical rules, reality itself could be reduced to a complete self-contained system. Truth would be mechanical, knowledge would be closed, meaning would be solved. Then Kurt Gödel quietly dismantled that dream. With a single set of proofs, now known as the incompleteness theorems, Gödel demonstrated something astonishing. In any sufficiently powerful logical system, there are true statements that cannot be proven within the system itself. In other words, truth exists beyond formal structure. Reason points beyond reason. Logic gestures towards something it cannot contain. This was not merely a mathematical result. It was a metaphysical shockwave. Before Gödel, many believed the universe, and even consciousness, could be fully explained through formal logic. Mathematics was seen as the ultimate foundation, precise, objective, complete. If all truths could be derived from axioms, then reality itself might be reducible to computation. Mind would be a machine, meaning would be syntax. But Gödel showed that this vision collapses from within. His theorems prove that no logical system can be both complete and consistent. There will always be truths that escape formal proof. This means that truth is not identical with provability. Something can be undeniably true, yet unreachable by mechanical reasoning. The implications are staggering. If logic cannot account for all truth, then truth does not originate in logic. Reason is not the ground of reality. It is a window into something deeper. Gödel's work shattered the idea of a self-contained rational universe and replaced it with a vision of reality that is open, layered, and grounded beyond symbols. Gödel was clear about one thing. Mathematical truths are not human inventions. They are discovered, not created. This places them in a strange category. They are real, objective, timeless, and yet not physical. You cannot touch a mathematical truth. You cannot locate it in space. And yet it governs the structure of reality with absolute necessity. Gödel believed this meant that truth belongs to a non-material realm, one that the human mind can access but does not produce. Consciousness does not fabricate truth. It recognizes it. This view aligns with philosophical realism, the idea that truths exist independently of observers. But it also raises a deeper question. Where do these truths exist? If they are not in matter and not in symbols, then they must reside in a domain of pure intelligibility. Gödel increasingly came to believe that this domain is not impersonal. Truth, for him, points toward a rational structure of reality that precedes matter and mind alike, an order that consciousness participates in, but does not originate. Gödel's philosophical reflections went far beyond mathematics. He believed that mind is more fundamental than matter, and that the universe is grounded in a rational intelligence. His reasoning was simple, but devastating. If the human mind can grasp truths that no machine or formal system can derive, then consciousness cannot be reduced to computation. There must be something in the mind that transcends physical processes. Gödel even formulated a rigorous ontological argument for the existence of God, not as a belief, but as a logical necessity grounded in the existence of objective truth. For Gödel, the presence of timeless truths implies a timeless knower. Truth without a grounding intelligence is metaphysically unstable. The universe, in this view, is not a blind accident that happens to be intelligible. It is intelligible because it is rooted in mind. Reality is not made of matter first and meaning second. Meaning comes first. Structure comes first. Intelligence comes first. Matter is the expression, not the source. Gödel's legacy forces us to reconsider what consciousness truly is. 
If the mind can access truths that transcend all formal systems, then consciousness is not confined to the brain as a physical mechanism. It is a point of contact with a deeper, rational order. The human intellect becomes a microcosm of infinite intelligence, capable of resonating with truths that exist beyond space and time. In this light, knowing is not computation. It is participation. Awareness is not accidental. It is relational. The universe appears intelligible because it is grounded in intelligence, and the mind can know reality because it shares in that same intelligible structure. Gödel did not claim to prove God in a simplistic sense. What he showed is far more subtle. Logic itself testifies to its own incompleteness, and in doing so, points beyond itself. The deepest truths of existence cannot be enclosed by systems, symbols, or machines. They require a transcendent ground, a mind beyond matter, beyond form, beyond calculation. And in every act of understanding, consciousness touches that infinite source. Kurt Gödel revealed something few dared to see. That reason, at its highest point, humbly admits its own limits. Truth overflows every system, meaning exceeds every structure, and intelligence cannot be reduced to matter. His work suggests that the universe is not ultimately mathematical, but intelligible. Not mechanical, but meaningful. Not blind, but grounded in mind. Gödel stands as one of the most profound witnesses to the idea that reality is not self-explanatory, but rooted in a deeper, non-material intelligence. In a universe where logic cannot contain truth, consciousness becomes the bridge between the finite and the infinite, a living echo of a transcendent mind that grounds all that is. Before we close, we've noticed that some of you viewers are not subscribed, so if you could do me a favor and double-check if you're a subscriber to this channel, that would be tremendously appreciated. It's the simple, it's the free thing that anybody that watches this show can do to help us here to keep everything going. So please double check if you've subscribed and thank you so much because in a strange way you are part of our history. And if this journey resonates with you on a deeper level, we've just launched the official Spiritual Quest merch store. Each piece is designed as a symbol, something you can wear that reflects curiosity, awareness, and the deeper questions we explore here together. If you'd like to support the work and carry the spirit of the quest with you, you'll find the link below. Stay tuned for new drops soon. Thank you for being here and for walking this path with us.